was kind of weird uh, to have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2X come out of the Xbox launch last year when Tony Hawk 3 was already available for the PS2. Uh, Tony Hawk 3 blows away the previous two games in the series by a long shot. And now that it's available on the Xbox, Xbox owners can finally experience you know what they've been waiting these months for. Um, the game really kind of revolutionizes the Tony Hawk series the same way 2 did at the time by adding a move called the Revert. It's uh, sort of like how the manual was used to link together uh, grinds and, and ground tricks. The revert can be used to link vert tricks into your combos. So you can go up from a ramp, come down, revert for a little spin, and work that into uh, the middle of your combo. Uh, it really changes the way the game is played, and it balances the trick system a lot better than it was before because you, know, it's, uh, you can be a vert skater or a street skater and still get the points you need to proceed. Let's talk about the differences in the Xbox version of Tony Hawk 3 over the PS2 and GameCube version. Uh, the most noticeable difference is probably the graphics. Uh, it does look quite a bit better than both of the other versions of the game. The texture quality has been bumped up a notch. It's not jaggy like the other versions were. And the frame rate is, for the most part, solid, though there are a few spots where it hitches up. Uh, basically, whenever you pass through fog or smoke or anything like that, the game just slows down really bad for, you know, a split second, so you know, one or two seconds of really slowness. But other than that, the frame rate's really solid and it looks fantastic. The animation looks really nice. Uh, all the levels look really great. There's a lot of uh, long draw distances so you can see really far. The only thing the Xbox version doesn't have when compared to other versions of the game is that it doesn't have the online mode that the PlayStation 2 version had. Uh, that was what made the PlayStation 2 version, you know, really kind of go all the way is that it uh, was the first PS2 game to have any sort of online internet stuff. Uh, the Xbox version doesn't have that, at least officially. There'll probably be some sort of weird third-party tool out in the next week or two and it'll, it'll let you play it the same way people are playing Halo now. But officially, uh, all it has is System Link Play, which is similar to Tony Hawk 2X and Halo and, and games like that, where if you're hooked up to a LAN, you can play uh, four-player matches with people. And it's basically set up exactly the same way the PS2 version's online was. One person hosts the server, and they get to control the game type and the level and uh, banning players, things of that nature. And then th up to three people can connect to that server for four-player games. The Xbox version has one new skater and one new level that aren't found in any other version of the game. Uh, they kind of seem like they were designed as afterthoughts. It's a nice addition, uh, but you know it's not something you're going to base your your purchase around. The oil rig level is really neat and has a lot of really long grind lines. It also has quite a bit of slowdown because it has a lot of the smoke that, that slows down the game's frame rate. And the skater is a, a skeleton guy. He's a skeleton guy. That's kind of cool, but the, the rest of the game's hidden skaters are a whole lot cooler than that, so that's uh, maybe a little bit disappointing. So some argument can be made as to whether or not the online play of the PlayStation 2 version makes it better than the Xbox version. But uh, you know what is clear is that if you're not terribly interested in playing online, the Xbox version is easily the best version of Tony Hawk 3 available. That's the way I like it, baby! I don't want to live forever!